To this now, the South African National Energy Development uh, Institute is commencing its research in green hydrogen technology. The research in partnership with Durban University of Technology will investigate the feasibility of uh, generating green hydrogen from borehole water using a polymer electrolyte membrane, PEM, uh, that's the technology. The collaborative uh, research project is expected to support policy decision making as the country moves to reduce its greenhouse gas emissions in line with our international commitments while also energizing local economies. Now to take this discussion further, we're now joined by a video link by Professor Samson Mampueli, head of the Department of Science and Innovations Energy Secretariat. Thank you so much, Prof, for your time. Let's now get a sense of firstly, what prompted this kind of research? in green hydrogen technology? Uh, good afternoon to you and the viewers. Um, so this is basically the continuation of the work that the Department of Science and Innovation has supported for many years through what we call the Hydrogen South Africa program. Uh, the department then developed what we call the Hydrogen Society Roadmap uh, that, uh, that uh, basically established a, a hydrogen corridor that starts in Limpopo, uh, coming to Gauteng and then going to KwaZulu Natal. So we've looked at, at that corridor and established that uh, in the KwaZulu Natal area, we don't have institutions of higher learning that are involved in this kind of research. That's when we brought in the Benin University of Technology so that we can kickstart the establishment of a, a center of competence in that particular university dealing with green hydrogen production. We also looked at the, the, the fact that there was no institution looking at uh, borehole water uh, uh, purification for production of green hydrogen. We have some research that we've started in Limpopo with the investor of Venda and as well as uh, the one of the ISA or Hydrogen South Africa Center of Competence at uh, Northwest mm. University. But in the KwaZulu Natal area, we didn't have much yeah. of hydrogen hydrogen research taking place. That's why we came together with uh, DUT to conduct that research. All right, uh, uh, perhaps let's get into the meat of it then. What does the actual study then entail? And more importantly, how does it feed uh, and align to South Africa's energy generation? So the study uh, involves the, the pumping of uh, borehole water. Um, and then purification of that particular water. And then we take it through the, the PEM electrolyzer that splits the water into hydrogen and oxygen. And then we take the hydrogen and use it for electricity production. And then we take the oxygen and then we can discharge it into the environment. It's safe to do so. So, so the main thing is to look at that particular process in its entirety or from the technical point of view, whether it makes sense and also from the financial point of view, which this is kind of a techno-economic analysis that will tell us whether uh, doing so will be uh, uh, economically viable or not. Mm. You know, not too long ago, and I want to get a sense of what your thoughts are, the Minister uh, of Electricity and Energy, Ms. Uh, Dr. Ramahopa, announced, you know, that two hydrogen projects will be added to the risk mitigation independent power producer procurement program. Looking at carbon emissions, greenhouse gas emissions, are these projects safe to explore? Yes, those projects are safe to explore. Um, by, by the way, I was uh, the first one to include uh, green hydrogen in the in the modeling when, when they were doing the modelings for the IRP 2024, uh, so that we can then look at the, the, the potential impact of bringing in green hydrogen to assist us in terms of uh, lowering the carbon emissions. Uh, if we look at the, 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 the Hydrogen Society Roadmap, it talks about uh, using green hydrogen in the hard to abate kind of industries such as your steel and your cement industries where we can then use green hydrogen to produce electricity for them to lower their carbon emissions. Uh, those are some of the things that we're looking at. Uh, Why are we concentrating on borehole water? We, we're looking at inland areas because on the coastal areas, we have a lot of water that will come from the ocean where we will do desalination of that water and then produce green hydrogen. But on the, in, on the in, inland uh, uh, provinces, we don't have that kind of a luxury and we don't want to use potable water coming from the municipality as well. 
I just want to touch a little bit about, you know, just some of our international commitments uh, in as far as this is concerned. Going back to your research uh, per se, I mean, it is, I suppose, expected to support policy decision making as the country then moves to reduce its greenhouse uh, gas emissions. Just talk us a little bit through how that is going to be conducted. So the, uh, on, from the technical point of view, we will run um, uh, models, uh, technical models that will that will show us the the impact on the on the emission side of things. If we are to, for instance, uh, remove some megawatts uh, from from the, the electricity grid that is still predominantly uh, coal, um, then we can be able to calculate how much emissions are we able to reduce because this is now green hydrogen where the input energy will be coming from either solar uh, systems or, or, or wind uh, energy systems. So based on that, we can be able to use this kind of, uh, of, of projects to reduce our, uh, our emissions. So part of the studies will be to run those models to look at how much of green hydrogen can we produce for local, for domestic use in uh, around South Africa, and what will be the impact on the emission side of things if we are to to remove some of the the, the hard to abate industries such as your steel, your cement, and things like that from the national grid, and and then replace the the, the power that's going to them with green hydrogen. So it talks directly to. Uh, the advice at policy level to say we can then be able to advise government to say if we do, uh, if we bring in green hydrogen, these are some of the emissions uh, that we'll be able to avoid uh, going forward. So that's the whole essence around uh, policy advice and, and also advising national government, which is based on, on, on the evidence uh, from the research that we'll be conducting.